So I had no arms, no willy, and half a left leg. In January, Chibs had a heart attack, and we thought it might make quite an interesting video, because it's an interesting story. So I'm going to interview Chibs about his heart attack. Chibs, you had a heart attack, okay. first of all. What was it like? <laughs> it, it was, uh... It was not very pleasant. Were there any signs leading up to it? What, weeks before or on the day? In general, is it, looking back, was there anything that might have told you that you were having a heart attack? Uh, yeah. Um, two weeks prior, like, when I've, since I gave up the booze and stuff, I've been doing, like, loads and loads of uh, gym work to get that natural high. And every time I was going to the gym, I was doing, like, a 5K run. Like, nothing, I wasn't breaking any records, but I'd do a 5K run because it gave me a great buzz when I left and stuff. Um, natural high endorphins, they call it. Two weeks prior to the day that the heart attack happened, I couldn't get to a kilometre. I literally couldn't. I wasn't out of breath. It was just my body hurt. My legs were really like... How long would you normally do? Like... Well, I do 5K. Right. But I couldn't get to one kilometre. I couldn't... And I was, like, getting really frustrated. Do you know why that was now? Yeah, because you? the clot had already started. Right. The clot had started, so... Where was the clot? Uh, in my major artery, right. um, leading to the heart. So basically it was stopping the blood flow. So when the blood wasn't going to my legs properly, right. hence why they were going dead. So what happened on the day? What, what day was it? On the day, it was Sunday. I think it was Sunday the 28th of January. Um, played football. And luckily, my manager took me off. He said, I'm really sorry, uh, Pete. Or actually, Tubes or whatever. They call me a football. Pete or Tubes. They, he said... Putting it bluntly, you're playing awful. And I knew I was. I couldn't, and I was really slow. Like my, It felt like I had a hangover again. I was like really slow, and I was like, I, could, I was plodding along, and my legs were dead. And luckily, he took me off. Because if he hadn't taken me off, I might have had the heart attack on the pitch. And then that could have been shit. Yeah. I might not be telling this story now. So I watched the end of the game, which we lost, and then I was like, right, boys, I'm off, see you later, because I had the ump, and I was like, this is, I don't know what's going wrong here. So I got home, sulking, and then on the way home, I thought, oh, I've got a bit of indigestion. Had you had indigestion before? Yeah. Yeah, and it felt like the it, same? Yeah, it felt like indigestion, so I was like, oh, that's annoying. Like, I was supposed to go and watch, it was uh, Chelsea were playing Newcastle in the FA Cup uh, at Stamford Bridge, so I was supposed to be going to that. But I was like, oh. so I got home and I didn't have a shower or football because I just wanted to leave because I had the ump because I played rubbish and we lost. And so I jumped in the shower and as soon as the hot water it hit my body, I felt all like sort of a bit faint, a bit like dizzy, a bit wobbly. And bizarrely, I looked down, This is I'm not trying to be funny here, but... My willy, <laughs> my willy had got smaller, and it sort of, <laughs> it made, it's mad. It's mad. They don't tell you that in heart attack. No, things, I mean, do they? no that's not one of the signs they advertise. I don't know if that happens in every heart attack. <laughs> yeah. Your willy gets smaller. I haven't got the biggest willy, but well, I mean, well, let's let's see. <laughs> <laughs> like, yeah, like, yeah, no, yeah. but it sort of went inside me. It's like when, when it's really cold. When it's really cold. So I looked down and I was like. That's not right. Have you mentioned this to the doctor since? Has you, no, uh, I didn't tell the doctor that. Because I don't think it was necessary, but... <laughs> you tell for, the internet. For, for, yeah, I'll tell YouTube, but... Just in case that... Honestly, just in yeah. case it happens to anyone else, but... So I was like, that's not right, and I felt really dizzy. So I jumped out of the shower, and then, um... Quickly dried, and I was like, well, I'm definitely not going to Chelsea. I'm going to watch it on the television, because it was on, on the television, and then... So then it started hurting more, this indigestion that I thought it was. Um, so I put on my tracksuit and I thought, well, I'm going to have a chilled out day, maybe have a, not, maybe sleep off the indigestion, we'll see, like, whatever, wake up for the game. But as I was, so I got ready, I put all my stuff in there, my phone in the tracksuit top, and, and I was getting, it's getting more and more, like, worse. I felt pretty bad, I thought, oh, this is not good. And then as I was walking down the stairs... All you of live us, alone, don't you? Yeah. I do, yeah, yeah. And uh, so I was on the house of my own. Then all of a sudden, my left arm just went... 
just went completely dead. And I, then I was like... Did you know what that was then? No, not at all. But I knew it wasn't good. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and I knew it wasn't indigestion. Yeah. But never once did I think I'm having a heart attack. So it went, whoa, whoa, left arm. I was like, ah. I was like, right, I better probably phone someone here. Yeah. But then all of a sudden, this arm, zoom, was like, did the same. I was like, ah. Then I was panicked, and then I was like, ah, "This is not, this is not good." I was like, "Right, so I really can't move both arms here, so this is not good." And my phone was here in the in my tracksuit top, so I couldn't drive anywhere because I couldn't move my bloody arms. I couldn't really get to my phone because my arms weren't working, and I was like proper like sweating up, like panicking, like. So anyway, three minutes later, when I'm sort of like wondering like ah, what to do. I was a bit. So it was like three minutes had gone by. I didn't realize it was that. It was that. So it took a few minutes while you were in this situation. Before. Yeah, I didn't know. What, I was trying to think what to do, like because I didn't know what happened. You know, I yeah. was like, ten minutes ago I thought it was indigestion. Now I can't feel my arms. Yeah, and I've got no dick. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I was like, yeah. Ah. What were you more worried about at this point? The fact your penis was shrunk or the fact that you had no arms? Oh, yeah. I was like, like, I can't even use it if I've got no arms. So I, was, I, was more, I was more worried about the arms. Yeah, fair enough. Uh, and then, I, was, I say luckily, the left leg sort of gave way. So as the left leg's given way, I've sort of fallen to the floor, sort of, sort of leaning on the sofa. Sort of. It was all a bit of a blur. But... The phone popped out of my tracksuit top. So it was sort of there. So Did you sort of fall over when your yeah, left leg went? Yeah. So I was like, this, I've got a sort of one of those, you know, you put your feet on the, uh, they call, what they call puffs, are they? I believe so, yeah. Yeah, you put your feet. So I was sort of on that, and that, pop, the phone popped out. So it was there. So I was like, right, fuck, there's the phone. And then I was like, this is pretty messed up. My now left leg sort of half dead and I was like I can't read really because sort of, I could move like but it was dead you know, I, mean, yeah. I couldn't support myself on it so I had no arms no willy and half a left leg so I was like this is and I'm, I'm proper shitting myself I'm like this is not good so stupidly but luckily I text my mum who lives three roads down yeah but thinking about it afterwards, my mum never has her phone. Yeah. Like, does your mum ever yeah. have her phone with her? Yeah. Oh, sorry, yo, you text four days ago. So, oh, I got a missed call from you from two weeks ago. Okay, mum, that was two weeks ago. But, thank God, I'm sure it's my dad looking down on us. No. Conducting yeah. this. She had the phone in her hand. She just got off the phone. From, There's so she, many things where it could have gone wrong. It's mad. She normally uses the house phone. But she got off the. She phoned someone on the mobile. Literally, come off the mobile as I text. So the message went straight through. I said, "Mum, can you get here now? Something's wrong. I think I put something like that." And I sort of like blanked out a bit. Not blanked out. I remember it, but I was sort of laying there going. And by the time this indigestion, that I thought was indigestion, was absolutely killing me. I was like, "Whoa!" Anyway, she she's burst through the door seen me laying down on the sofa I managed to get myself on the sofa by then and she just looked at me and I see, remember her looking at me like ah she could just see in her face like that's ah, not right phoned the ambulance and they were so quick ambulance was there bang really quick and they were like I could tell it, and I heard them say heart attack because they, they put all those it's an ECG thing is it it's a monitor yeah, they, thing monitor yeah and it was all going a bit screw whiff on the old page thing you didn't have the shock thing? No, no. no. So then they put me, they rushed me straight into the back of the ambulance. And uh, this was, it started really, really hurting. And then obviously mum was there. And, it, and there was this paramedic, he was like quite a young guy. And he was being really annoying. Like, okay, what he, he kept, <laughs> he was, like, the, the girl who was driving, who was an amazing driver, she should be working for Formula One or something. She was like, <laughs> Right. But this guy was like a really bad comedian. Like it was like he was doing his like trying to, you know, when they do their half an hour yeah. sets. He was like he was practicing on me. Yeah. And it wasn't funny. He was going, oh, oh yeah, it was a bit of a bump that would get the old heart racing. I was like, I was like, 
And whilst he was telling me these awful jokes and just like, he was like really happy going, Wee! Yeah. It was like really bad, like butlins. Yeah. Like blue coat or red coat, whatever they're called. And uh, so as he was telling me these really bad jokes, he's spraying all this stuff in my face. Like, like that. So anyway, they got me to hospital. And going back to that guy, I was like, afterwards, I was like, what was that bloke all about? Yeah. He was like, oh no, he was doing that on purpose. He was keeping you awake by keep talking to you, yeah. keep trying to be funny and making like... I've done, I've done some work for a private hospital and, they, and one of the things I remember them saying is that if you get to hospital conscious, your chance of surviving something yeah. is so much more than if you get there unconscious. Exactly, so he was, he probably does that to every single person. Yeah. Just keeps He's probably jokes. got a great stand-up set oh, mate, and he saves, he doesn't use that It's probably you. quite funny if you're not yeah. having a heart attack. <laughs> <laughs> It's probably quite amusing, but because he was do- because I was in so much pain and I was really worried, I was like, I don't need this bloke trying to be funny. But he was doing it on purpose, so hopefully I will see you again because I want to do some fundraising for the, the, yeah, the certain yeah. charities and the ward I went to, but that's further down the line. But I will see you again and say thanks for your bad jokes. But, um, yeah, he did that on purpose. So anyway, they put me straight into the ambulance, got me out, went straight through the back. And I literally just got whisked straight into the operation room. I remember talking to, when we went around your house afterwards and talking to your mum about it, and she said you go basically straight through the doors. Yeah. And then, so you're into A&E, you turn left through a door, and you're yeah. in an operating theatre that yeah. quickly. It was it was crazy. It was like, um, like you, I didn't know it was there. You just go straight through, and like, there's no cards or nothing. It literally got me out of the thing, wheeled me straight in, up this ramp, left straight into it, and they're all there waiting. And I remember just being lobbed onto the bed, you know, like the uh, sort of metal, uh, silver-like things, I think it was, it's cold. I remember it being cold. And they just went to work quickly. It was like, you know when you watch like Casualty or those programmes and everyone's running yeah. around, beep, 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 beep. Yeah. By that time, the heart was like proper, it was proper blocked, yeah. the major artery, and the heart was going bang, 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 bang. And then all of a sudden, they're like, duh, 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 all of a sudden, it just went. I sort of just went. And what have they done? Got the clock. So with, with how? They got the clock. Oh, sorry. They um, blew my arm up. That was such. I've, I, they put that, a thing I up the vein, is it? Yeah, yeah. I don't wish that on anyone. I can't really see it here now, but they put that and they blew this arm up. It was like a, they blew it up so they could go down quicker. But they went down this artery here. I think it is you can feel it. Feel it. That oh yeah, yeah, yeah. It still hurts a bit yeah. now. Sorry, that's all right. Yeah. But they went down there and they put the wire all the way through here up to here and just uh, went poke through. it out. Yeah, and basically, I think they just pulled it out, which allowed the blood. And all yeah. of a sudden, did it feel like a massive relief? Yeah, yeah, massive, massive <laughs> relief. Like, but it was like touch and go because they were like, "You are so lucky. They are so lucky that your mum had the phone. They're so lucky the ambulance were nearish by. Yeah. They're so lucky they drove so well." They're so lucky Jasper Carrot in the back was really not funny. <laughs> Good modern <laughs> cultural reference, that. <laughs> um, yeah. They were like, everything went well for you today because you were close. Yeah. And, uh, it's yeah. It's weird that it happened now when you've been healthy for two years and not two years ago. Uh, well, well, that's what I thought. Um, if it happened two years ago, they said, when I was drinking and smoking loads, um, they... They said you would have died pretty much on the spot because right. it was a major, major heart attack. Now, a lot of people on Twitter were saying, well, of course it's a major heart attack and like everything's major if you have a heart attack. It isn't actually. No. It isn't because it was in the major artery yeah. going to the heart because you have three, I think it's yeah. three valves. Three. <laughs> it's weird that people would send you messages they like were, that. They were, they were like, <laughs> do you know what? The, the, <laughs> <stuff like, laughs> It was like a bit. That was a. That was a minority. Everyone. Yeah. I couldn't. Be, couldn't believe the support that I got from. Yeah. General public. I remember like, you put, you put something like, on Instagram, didn't yeah, you? Yeah. Because yeah. I wasn't going to be at work for three or four months. Yeah. And Sky said, you know, it's better for you to let people know yeah. what's happened. And I, I didn't want to at first, but I thought, do you know what? I think yeah. it's probably best that I did. But I could not believe the support that came back. Yeah. Um, from like like I said general public friends like your good self obviously football clubs and then you know people were, weren't being horrible they were going isn't every heart attack a major yeah. heart attack 
It's not, no, because there's different I remember reading, and valves and stuff. I remember reading something from someone um, quite recently, and he was talking about his, his dad had had a heart attack and he went into the hospital and mm. he was, he was, and his dad was like really sporty and saying, um, and he's getting his dad go, oh, you must be the most healthy guy in this place because you're really healthy. And he goes, he goes, no, all these guys are healthy. They're, they're here because they're healthy. The yeah. ones that aren't healthy are dead. Yeah. And, and yeah. Yeah, because of what I used to do back in the day, if that happened, the heart attack happened, I would have been dead probably. And it was basically genetics. But there's also, there was a hole in the heart as well. Right. Which they've closed since. What's your advice to people? That if well, you think there's anything wrong, get it checked out. Yeah, 100%. And if you have any uh, family history of heart attacks or heart-related problems, please, like, go and get checked. It doesn't take long. Well, Pete, I'm glad you didn't die. <laughs> I'm also <laughs> glad... What's that, the little... Oh, the little yeah, thanks. I'm also glad that your penis shrunk. <laughs> Thank you for sharing with us. <laughs> you, you, you're pleased my penis shrunk? <laughs> Why are you please my penis shrunk? How is it now? Is it all right? Yeah, it's alright. It's never been that great to be fair, but.